so this is the makeup look that we're going for today I'm doing this mainly for those of you who are you know having your prom if your prom is coming up really soon and I know a lot of you probably already had your prom but I know that my sisters they haven't had their prom so I think it's coming probably in a couple of weeks and they showed me inspiration from like Pinterest and stuff and this is something that they kind of want me to do for them something smoky but not too much like as you can see it's not too much well for me it's not too much some of you maybe might look a little too much but nothing too crazy smoky eyes you know just some dark shadow on the outer corner and uh, some shimmer on the lid and that's about it I mean and I just added a touch of girliness on the lips using pink lip products I think this will look good in every skin type every skin color and if you still haven't decided what to do like how to do your makeup for prom if you want to try to do your makeup on your own for prom and don't want to have to spend uh, money on you know someone else doing your makeup then definitely give this a try I used mostly drugstore products this look will look great on any dress like whether you have silver pink green blue dress I think this will look good on every dress color I mean you can even change up the lip color if you want if you if you think pink might be too much for your dress or you can make it nude you can even make it red if you have white dress you know what I mean but this eye look definitely looks good in every dress color so I just want to point that out so yeah there you go um, without further ado let's get this tutorial started shall we all right to start off we're gonna be priming our face I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier foundation primer for my foundation, I'm trying out this Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. And I just got this recently, so I just wanted to try it out. So you can use the Revlon Color Stay as well because I really like that one. It has great coverage and it's pretty long lasting too. So Revlon Color Stay is another recommendation as a drugstore foundation. And for the brush, I am using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Alright guys, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. And I believe the shade that I used here is Natural. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, to blend it all out, of course, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender because this is just the best tool ever for, applying, for blending out concealer pretty much. Because it does avoid cakiness, so we don't like cakey. And then just to quickly set my concealer, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette using the banana shade, I believe. And I'm just using this favorite brush of mine, which is Max 165, just to set everything, pretty much my T-zone, to avoid oiliness. And then using a contour brush by MAC. I'm going to be taking the middle shade on the contour palette and just pretty much use this to warm up my face and also contour a bit as well. All right, so for eye primer, I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot. This is a crucial step, you guys, because you don't want your eyeshadows creasing while you're dancing the night away at your prom. All right, <laughs> so you have to prime your lids. For the shadows, I'm going to be using the Smokes by Maybelline palette and you can pretty much make any eye look with this palette. I just love it. So the first shadow that we're going to be using is that first eyeshadow in the second row which is just a medium to dark brown eyeshadow that's matte and I'm using my favorite blending brush by MAC which is number 224 to start off the transition color and then I'm going to be using this sort of even more warmer kind of on the lighter side eyeshadow color I, to be honest I don't remember the name of this MAC eyeshadow but you can even use your bronzer and then I'm taking the Maybelline Smokes palette again and I'm taking the black eyeshadow it's the only black eyeshadow with a little bit of glitter or shimmer on the palette so take that and I'm using MAC's 217 brush to blend that out Focusing it on the outer corner as you can see and then just slowly bringing it towards the inner corner just to define the crease 
All right, so for this step, I'm taking Max Shimmer Time Pigment and I'm using a Sephora glitter glue to help the shimmer or the pigment stick on a lot better, but you don't have to do this. You can even use just a eyeshadow that's sort of light shimmery champagne color. They also have some shimmer color or some champagne shimmery color on the smokes palette, so you can use that. But I think just using this pigment just makes the eyes stand out and it just it's just really, really nice. It makes the lid pop. And then I'm just blending it with the previous blending brush that we used. And then I'm taking this fourth eyeshadow in the first row from the Smokes palette, and I'm using that as a highlight on my brow bone. I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush to do that. And then now I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush again, and I'm taking that previous MAC eyeshadow that I told you about that I don't remember the name but again you can use your bronzer to warm up the the crease even more or above the crease even more and it's just gonna make the look all put together and blend it out now I'm gonna take a white eyeliner you can use whatever white eyeliner that you have and then I'm taking a pencil brush just like this one this one is by Real Techniques I the name of this is brow brush so just pretty much take the black eyeshadow from the smokes palette and just really apply that as tight or as close as you can to the waterline on the lower lash lines now I'm gonna have to reapply the white eyeliner on my waterline again just because I just want that um, waterline to pop and to open up my eyes and then I'm taking a black eyeliner but I believe this one is Urban Decay's 24-7 perversion and I'm just tight lining with this you don't have to do this if you're having a hard time doing this but try if you can and then I'm gonna kind of let that let that air dry just because I don't want the white eyeliner and black eyeliner to kiss each other <laughs> now I'm taking mascara I'm using this one I don't remember the name but again I will link everything that I don't mention uh, the name of in the info bar below so I felt like the some eyeshadows were just falling off all over my face so I just reapplied the banana shade from the contour palette and I'm just applying that all over my t-zone just because my t-zone were also getting oily so I wanted to mattify that a bit more and then I'm taking number 43 red cherry lashes right, so now that I've applied my falsies and a little bit of wink liner I'm gonna apply my blush for the blush I'm gonna be using the Beach Cosmetics 10 color palette glamorous blush and I don't know what I'm gonna be using I think I'm gonna use something I think I'm gonna go for something more coral ish actually yeah coral ish maybe this one right here it's a little bit shimmery I haven't used this one but I might mix it with something dark like this one. Oh, that's a lot so that's like boom blush <laughs> That's a lot. I th that's not what I want. So I'm gonna take a clean brush and just like blend it out. Now I'm gonna be applying um, highlight. Since we're using a lot of drugstore products today, I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Beige Pearl Highlight. I'm gonna be using. This brush right here. Bridge up my nose. Right on the tip of my nose. And on my Cupid's bow. Alright, so for lips. I'm gonna try the this Max knob. And since that's a little bit kind of on the dead color side, I'm gonna be applying a bit of 
gloss on top that's a bit pinkish. So I'm gonna take Revlon's Berry Allure. Let's see. Alright you guys, so this is the final look and I hope you like it. It's really smoky with with some girly touch added uh, with that pink lipstick and lip gloss. So if your prom is coming up or a lot of you probably already had your prom, even if it's not your prom, you know, wherever, like if it's your birthday or any special occasions, I hope you try this out and I hope you like it. And if you did like this look, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet yeah that's about it i mean i can't say any more about this look i just i love it i love that touch of um, shimmer on the lid and everything else and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye